Transport yourself back to 1942, a time when Tarzan swung onto screens in Tarzan's New York Adventure. This classic film, amidst its adventure and jungle allure, raises enduring questions about the clash between the wild and the urban, encapsulating the essence of the movie industry's ability to capture universal themes. It's a timeless narrative that continues to resonate with audiences, inviting contemplation about the contrasts between civilization and nature. The movie not only showcases Tarzan's iconic portrayal, but also delves into the complexities of adapting to a foreign environment. Its ability to explore themes of displacement, adaptation, and the clash of cultures has contributed to its lasting relevance. The film's ability to provoke thought on these timeless themes solidifies its place as an emblem of the film industry's enduring impact. Do you have a cherished memory associated with this movie? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below, sharing how this cinematic classic has left its mark on your life. And now, a fascinating tidbit about the show. Did you know that Tarzan's New York Adventure was the sixth film to feature Johnny Weissmuller as Tarzan? His portrayal of the iconic character became synonymous with the jungle hero for many audiences. Your stories and memories of this film are eagerly awaited in the comments below. Share your experiences and nostalgia with us. In the 1942 movie Tarzan's New York Adventure, one notable aspect is Maureen O'Sullivan's final portrayal of Jane in the Weissmuller Tarzan franchise. This marked the last time she reprised her role in this long-running series. The film also incorporates recycled footage from earlier Tarzan movies, including scenes like the plane sequence at the start, running wildebeest, giraffes, and chimps in trees from Tarzan Finds a Son. Notably, it's the only Weissmuller Tarzan film featuring adult Indian elephants without false African ears. These elements give the movie a blend of familiar sequences and a farewell performance, adding a distinct touch to the series. The song performed in the nightclub scene of the 1942 movie Tarzan's New York Adventure is also sung by Mary Jane Watson in Spider-Man 3. This intriguing connection links these seemingly disparate films through a shared musical piece, showcasing the cultural echoes across cinematic works. The rendition of the song in both contexts offers a unique thread between these distinct narratives, highlighting the resonance of certain elements across diverse movie landscapes. Interestingly, this shared musical moment not only underscores the universality of certain cultural references in cinema, but also invites viewers to draw unexpected connections between films separated by decades and genres. The utilization of the same song in these unrelated movies offers a curious lens through which to examine the intertwining threads of artistic expression and storytelling. Moreover, the overlap of this song's performance between Tarzan's New York Adventure and Spider-Man 3 prompts reflection on the significance of recurring motifs in film history. It raises questions about the deliberate or incidental choices made by filmmakers and their impact on the collective cinematic experience, transcending boundaries of time and thematic content. This intriguing connection between these films through a shared musical performance stands as a testament to the far-reaching influence and resonance of specific elements within the realm of cinema, providing an unexpected point of convergence between these two narratives. The towering figure of Johnny Weissmuller, at 64, often gets lost amidst the jungle sets and elephants in the 1942 movie Tarzan's New York Adventure. However, it's in the city scenes that his imposing stature becomes evident, towering over his co-stars, notably standing head and shoulders above even burly Charles Bickford. Weissmuller's commanding presence in the New York setting offers a stark contrast to his jungle environment, showcasing his physical dominance. This striking change in perspective, highlighting Weissmuller's height and broad shoulders, is a testament to how settings can drastically alter our perception of actors. The shift from the expansive jungle to the urban jungle of Manhattan offers a unique lens through which audiences can appreciate the physical attributes of the lead actor in a new light. This departure from the wild to the cityscape not only emphasizes Weissmuller's physicality, but also evokes echoes of other cinematic moments. The sequence where Tarzan scales a skyscraper and navigates across the rooftops of Manhattan harkens back to iconic scenes from Harold Lloyd's Safety Last and the 1933 version of King Kong. It's a homage to classic cinema and a testament to how storytelling devices and motifs transcend time finding new life in different narratives. 
The inherent contrast between the lush wilderness and the concrete jungle coupled with Weissmuller's physicality serves as a captivating focal point in Tarzan's New York adventure, offering audiences a fresh perspective on the legendary character in an urban setting. Cheetah's famous laugh in the 1942 movie Tarzan's New York Adventure was voiced by Mickey Daniels, a former R gang member. This distinct laugh became a signature sound used not just for animals in various films, but sometimes even for Mickey himself. Its infectious appeal to audiences was rooted in the unrestrained, ID-driven characteristics similar to iconic performers like Curly Howard, Harpo Marx, Jerry Lewis, and Jim Carrey. This unique aspect of the film added a recognizable touch, resonating with viewers through Cheetah's laughter, evoking shared emotions and connections to beloved comedic personalities. The airplane featured in the 1942 movie Tarzan's New York Adventure bears the British registration of GAECT. Interestingly, it's the same plane destroyed in a crash in a previous Tarzan film, Tarzan Finds a Son. Unlike larger planes like the Dakota, this one lacks a cargo door, making it impractical for lion cages. This detail sets the stage for the film's opening, just before the two-minute mark, showcasing earlier appearances of Tarzan from the series. The logistics of the plane play a subtle but significant role, laying the groundwork for the adventure that follows. The vehicle used by Charles Bickford in a desperate attempt to flee a furious herd of circus elephants was a 1937 Cadillac Series 60 convertible coupe. During filming, this car endured severe damage, nearly demolished in the process. The sequence captured the intensity of the chase as Bickford's character faced the stampeding elephants, highlighting the perilous nature of the situation. This event showcased the meticulous effort put into crafting realistic action scenes for the film, emphasizing the risks taken to capture thrilling moments on screen. The weight of expectations, how cast member affairs placed burden on Tarzan's New York Adventures cast member performances, and storytelling the personal lives of actors often seep into audience expectations, impacting the perception of their performances. In Tarzan's New York Adventure, the off-screen affairs among cast members subtly influenced the storytelling. While concealed from the public eye, the underlying tensions and conflicts subtly shaped the dynamics on set, potentially burdening the cast's performances. This unspoken weight of personal affairs added a layer of complexity to the movie's narrative, subtly influencing how characters were portrayed and the overall storytelling. The expectations from the audience were inadvertently affected by the undisclosed conflicts among the cast members, casting a shadow over the on-screen performances. As we swing through the vines of nostalgia, Tarzan's New York adventure beckons us to a celluloid journey into the heart of 1942. The silver screen, draped in black and white, echoes with the yells of Tarzan and the clamor of the urban jungle. As our hero navigates the concrete canyons of New York, it's not just a cinematic escapade, it's a mirror reflecting the collision of two worlds. Now, it's your turn. How did Tarzan's New York adventure carve its place into your memory? Did the iconic vine-swinging scene spark a sense of wild freedom? Or did the concrete chaos of the city resonate with your own experiences? Take a moment to let the whispers of nostalgia guide you back to that era. Share your reflections, your cherished moments with Tarzan and the vibrant backdrop of 1942. Let's build a collective narrative, weaving the threads of personal connection that make this cinematic gem timeless. Your thoughts are the vines that bind us across time and space, a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. Thank you for embarking on this journey with Tarzan's New York adventure and for sharing your unique perspective, appreciating the tapestry of memories.